morning everyone this is JBO of Let's Go Long Pare um, as you can see I'm using an app uh, an app that I just discovered this morning so let me tell you a little bit of it um, I say whenever I shoot videos using the iOS uh, uh, original application uh, I won't be able to switch from using the front and rear uh, while doing the video while shooting the video now uh, I learned that there is an app called Dualgram that allows you to do so. In fact, it allows me to shoot using the, the rear and the front at the same time. So you'd be able to, this is the front, this is the rear, and this is the front. Anyway, um, today's topic is about air pressure. Uh, well, people all, would always ask me in the group, uh, Let's go long pare kalaman tungkol sa gulong by Dr. Tire PH. I get asked a lot by consumers and those people who follow the page ano yung air pressure na dapat i-apply nila sa mga gulong nila now um I, i'll tell you the quickest okay the four quickest uh places to look for for those information one number one the air pressure sticker the air pressure sticker is pretty much standard right now where can you find it so if I open the, the the door of the driver's side in this panel, you'd be able to see a sticker that would provide you those information. In fact, the information that you'd be able to get from it are the tire sizes and uh, the, applic the applied pressure, whether you are laden or unladen. So meaning may load ko wala. In this particular vehicle that I'm using right now, unfortunately, it doesn't have that. It's a really old model, so maybe it's not standard. No. Nowadays, it became a standard. Every vehicle that I see, every vehicle that I open, I try to look at the driver uh, driver side panel. I'd be able to find the air, air pressure sticker there. Now, the second place that you would look for it is, this is... Ito madalas hindi ginagawa ito ng mga tao. Which is funny because um, there's a reason why you have it. Okay? Uh, there's a reason why you have it. Now, this is the user's manual. So, even this 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 vehicle which is about more than 10 decades old. Or more, more than, sorry, 1 decade old. 10 years old. Um, at, at page 520, I was able to find out what are the tire size options that I have for this vehicle and what are the pressure application, whether in, in kilo, in, in Pascal, bar, or in PSI, depending on what market you are located. So here. So just try to look at the manual and you'll be able to find out anong pressure ang apply. The third one, um, I think I don't have to demo this because I think most people find information about things usually in the internet. Okay, the, the good thing about the internet is it allows us to have access to those information, vital information regarding the tire. Um, it's best for you to go and uh, to go visit the website of your vehicle manufacturer. Usually they would provide downloadable PDF. Um, brochures and technical manuals so you'd be able if you lost your manuals uh pwede ka mag-download doon and makikita mo doon now if again medyo tamad ka pa rin you can follow my page and i, I could recommend however the, um i'm not always available so what i'm trying to say is if you don't know your tire air pressure you can consult uh, a tire specialist. In fact, they could, uh, they would be able to compute that theoretically on paper. Um, and in load distribution, because it, it needs, um, the tire specialist needs to know some information about your vehicle, uh, like wheelbase, load base, total weight of your vehicle, and the total possible load that you're going to put in your vehicle. So they can also compute and recommend to you. What are the air pressure application that you would uh, um, you would use? Okay. Now, this is very important. Um, minsan kasi tinatamad lang tayo maghanap, but uh, in fact, it's already here. I mean, it's 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 very easy to find. 
Oh, I advise uh, this is very important in the sense that uh, it affects the performance and safety of your vehicle. If you have messed up, uh, if you don't check your pressure, if you don't maintain the correct pressure, it will affect. Again, I would repeat this. Um, it would greatly affect performance of your tire and your safety. And of course, the safety of the other road users that uh, you are with in the highways. Now, my advice, guys, if you're running more than 50 kilometers a day, have your tires checked every week, okay? Every week, please. And if you're running lower than that, you could, um, you could, uh, uh, check your air pressure twice a month or every two weeks. So hope you follow that, uh, instruction because it's a tire safety guide. And hope you learn from this video. Again, if you want to learn more about tire technicals and tire safety tips, you just have to follow and click our page, uh, Let's Gulong Pare Kalaman Tungkol Sa Gulong by Dr. Tire PH. Thank you so much, guys, and stay safe. Bye!